Hello friends, welcome once again to Paul's Pictures. Uh, in today's video I thought we would look at one of the uh, night nightmare scenarios for most photographers, uh, the hellish prospect that when you open up your computer you find that all your photos and uh, images have disappeared, have gone, have gone missing basically. Uh, this was a scenario that uh, confronted me recently and uh, Naturally it gave me quite a fright, um, but fortunately after some research I was able to solve the problem and it's a relatively simple issue uh, to sort out. So uh, first of all we'll open Lightroom up and you'll see what I was confronted with once Lightroom gets going. Now my catalogue is called Paul's Pictures, we need to bear that information in mind as we go through. Um, and once the, pit, the thumbnails are loaded you'll see why I was so uh, shocked and panicked when I saw what I saw. You'll see all these horrible little question marks on the images and if we try and look at this image here uh, in the loop view we'll see that the file name Daydream and Drummer Boy is offline or missing. Now that did give me uh, pause for thought and I really didn't know what was going on. I tried all sorts of searches you, you, you can find the location, you can look for look for, the, you know, go to the folder in the library you can um, find missing images, there's all sorts of things but in, to no avail, nothing worked. So after some research, as I said, I did solve the problem um, and uh, you will see the solution is quite simple and there's no need for panic first thing you need to know is that I store all of my images off the main off the computer drive I have portable hard drive a master drive and also a uh, backup drive which you know I back up obviously every now and again now the name of that master drive as far as Lightroom is concerned we'll have a look at that now once we get the uh, folder set up here. Paul's mas Paul's photos master blue. The, and the reason it's called blue is obviously the name of the sorry the color of the drive itself is blue. Now it's called on this uh, you'll see the G in brackets afterwards. Um, Lightroom has been told for some reason to think that this image this uh, catalog is called Paul's pictures G. Uh, whereas in fact it is actually Paul's pictures F and so consequently when it looks for F it can't find it uh, sorry when it looks in G it can't find any images now we all know that these uh, we've discussed before in a previous video that these are not the images themselves these are thumbnails or if you like they are like the uh, an image on a reference card in a, a library filing system they are just a, a reference to the uh, uh, image itself. So the way to solve this problem is we need to go to the control panel. Now the control panel looks different f depending on your operating system. I have Vista Ultimate um, so mine looks a certain way but if you have Windows 7 or XP or something like that then obviously it's going to be slightly different but the principles will be the same. So we go to Administrative Tools and in Administrative Tools we need to go to the disk management or computer management I'm sorry computer management section which we we'll want to ask to continue yes we want to continue and that will take us to the next sub menu which will have on it a storage no it doesn't want to now we'll just try again oh, there we go no cancel that oh. Now we cancel ourselves out of it. There we go. Storage. So we double click on the storage, go to disk management. There's a number of sub menus on this, so we're waiting now. It's connecting to the uh, virtual disk service, so we just wait for that to load up. And we will see here, yeah, there we go. Paul's Photos Master Blue G and for some reason then the computer has changed the letter uh, that names this drive um, this particular USB port 
is usually F um, and that's the confusion. The drive na number name has changed to G whereas on the uh, portable drive which is this master blue it still should be F so there's they can't read each other. So all we have to do is change this back and, and that could happen for a number of reasons. Uh, it could be that you have unplugged your portable drive from that um, from that port you could have used that dri uh, drive on another computer and comes back and has a different uh, setting on it so it thinks it's called something different uh, has an identity issue there um, or it could be that you put something else in that drive um, and the th next option is the most common which is the computer just for for no unknown some unknown reason for no known reason at all just renames the drive so we need to right click on that and we'll always get a little beep change drive letters and here you can see it's called G so we change we go to this drop down menu and we can change it back to F here then we click OK and we get this warning some programs that may rely on drive letters might not run correctly do you want to continue well that's precisely what we're trying to do here um, we've found out that it doesn't run correctly um, because the drive letter has been changed it relies on the drive letter so we're changing it back so yes we do want to continue and there'll be another warning message coming up now now it's saying here that um, master blue G is still in use obviously because we have Lightroom open here uh, now if we continue the new drive letter which is the F will be assigned but we can still use G to access the volume if we want to until we restart the computer so the old drive letter G won't be available until we restart and um, this is a warning about long term damage but in our situation here we don't need to worry about that so we just click on yes this will now change this G to an F uh, eventually yes there we go now we have F and we will have now the system uh, just as we plug in any this happens when we plug in any new drive it's looking for content so I just always close that so basically now what we should see when we go back to Lightroom is that these now all those horrible little question marks have disappeared and so now the everything is as it should be this catalog Paul's pictures is now safely uh, we know it's safe it's still on the uh, portable drive where it was always stored but now we have compatibility between the USB port and the catalog name which is that F drive so that's basically a simple solution to what for at first appears a major problem um, and particularly in my case where you'll see that I have almost 20,000 images um, I could probably afford to lose some of them but not all so um, this was a, a relief when I found this out but it was difficult finding the solution so hopefully this will save some of you that agonizing uh, long drawn out process of sorting this uh, relatively small problem out so um, thank you for watching and hope to see you again real soon